Hello guys and welcome back to a predictions special. Now usually on a Tuesday we would predict the League One football at the upcoming weekend and um, we have got three midweek games in League One that we will be predicting but of course the League One teams are not in action this weekend because it's the FA Cup first round weekend. Now there is like 40 games going on this weekend and we're not going to be able to predict all of them so what we're going to do just to explain to you briefly is we're going to predict the three midweek league one games and we'd usually predict 12 games so we're going to add nine of the fa cup games from this weekend which will include some league one teams and also some non-league teams we've picked them at random I'm sorry if your team's not been included. Feel free to share your predictions down in the comments if we haven't spoken about your team anyway. Um, and I'm joined by Ben. How are you? I'm good. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to this because we just you just thrown a couple of the team names at me. And I think it's going to be a bit of a geography lesson to me because I don't have a... Not only do I not have a clue about these teams or their players, I don't even know where some of them are. So looking <laughs> forward to this. And am I right, Matt? Um, just a free-for-all, no points scoring on the cup, so I can go in with as many ridiculous cup sets as possible then, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So for the three League One games, we will continue with the normal scoring system, but for the FA Cup games, we're going to have a bit of fun. We might chuck in one or two upsets and some crazy results, so please do play along with us down in the comments. Let's start with League One, Ben, and let's just quickly touch on last week, where I do need to give you your credit. You did beat me 10-8, so you've stretched your legs a little bit more in the League One prediction. So good stuff. Uh, two bob-ons, by the way. Huddersfield to win 2-0 and Wickham to win 3-0. Fair play, Ben. Thanks, man. And we had the rarity of a non-Birmingham win as well, which neither of us <laughs> um, managed to call. But yeah, we're we're aboard the aboard the Wickham train and um, the end of the Exeter train as, as well. So yeah, pleased with those two. But fair play, you've got eight outcomes as well, which is pretty impressive in itself. Yeah, so overall, you're four points ahead. So let's hope I can close the gap with the three midweek League One games we've got to talk about. Let's start with Lincoln City, Ben. Lincoln take on Northampton Town, and both sides got the win at the weekend um, at home. Lincoln City beat Stockport. That was a big game between two teams we think that will be sniffing around the playoff picture. And Northampton, um, I predicted a 3-4 against Crawley it was a 3-0 so we've got half of it right then um, <laughs> you, you keep telling yourself game? that mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um well we've got to pay respect to Northampton's decent um form in the three game week we've got the uh, win draw win I think um you'd have Lincoln as favourites though still wouldn't you with the home record and um you know given we just think they're going to be probably I don't know eight ten places higher I mean they are literally ten places higher right now so with all respect to northampton which is what you say when you're about to disrespect somebody i'm gonna back lincoln um i'm gonna back clean sheet as well lincoln to northampton nil yeah it's not a scribble but i have gone similar i think lincoln city will win and i'm gonna go for the same victory that they got over stockport county i'm gonna go with the two one um, I feel like I can trust Northampton to score. I'm not sure. I mean, up and down, aren't they? Uh, Lincoln City can be good defensively. We've given them credit for their defensive record. But the main thing is getting the three points over the line, which, you know, when they're playing midweek and not many other teams are, will really move them up the table. So I agree with you. I'm back in the imps to win this one. Um, the next one, Ben, is Stevenage versus Bolton. Bolton got a dramatic late winner against Peterborough at the weekend. I think it was the 99th minute they <laughs> snatched it. Um, so a 1-0 win there, and it keeps up their decent run of form they've had. Obviously, they lost to Birmingham, but that's no disgrace as long as you're winning your other games. And Stevenage, they lost to Rotherham. We both did predict that because we thought to ourselves that Steve Evans might just save himself. Um, Stevenage v Bolton. We like Stevenage at home. I think they'll keep it close but I just feel like I've got to go with Bolton. I'll go low scoring here, Ben. I'm going to go Stevenage nil, Bolton one. Yeah, I like I like your logic and I'm going to go down the, the same road. You do see that loss in the Bolton recent games, but it is against Birmingham. And like mm. you say, they're doing, they're doing very decently against everyone else after that horrible start. I think there's been a change of system. And when you're winning games in the 99th minute, you know, maybe... Something's turned. Um, three defeats in four for Stevenage. You're right, they skew better at home. You're right, it's probably going to be low scoring. You took the 1-0, so I'll take the same margin of victory. And I'm going to go Stevenage 1, Bolton 2. 
Yeah. I think we've said before, when there's only a couple of games to predict, I think we try and play it as safe as we can. <laughs> when there's a, a full set of fixtures, we'll chuck in a couple of crazy ones. I wonder if we'll go for something crazy here, Ben, between Stockport County and Reading. Um, Stockport County's form's definitely tailed off, hasn't it? You know, I was really impressed with them. They were keeping up the pace with Birmingham and Wrexham, but they've fallen down the table a bit. Um, they take on Reading now, and Reading's form's been very good, actually. Um, yes, they beat Bristol Rovers 1-0. I've just picked up on that from the weekend. We like them at home, but they did get an away win at Exeter last time as well. So they are doing well overall. Um, Europe, Europe first here, Ben. I suppose the form book says Reading, but I don't like going against Stockport myself. But not at, not at Edgeley Park. In our defence, Matt, we are presented with Lincoln, Stevenage and Stockport all playing at home who are all good defensive um, mm -hmm. sides as well in League One. Um, if you do think our predictions, if you want some bonus points, you ain't going to get them this week, put it that way. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I could do a nil F in nil here because you've got the form of Reading, but you've got Stockport being good at home. Stockport draw a lot of games, don't they? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go with the hot hand. The, the Reading fans deserve some fun. I'm going to back Reading. Stockport nil, Reading one against my better judgment. I'm going Stockport one nil, actually. Um, I know it's against the form book. I know it's against the form book, but I don't know. I, I just think Stockport are going to turn it around eventually. Am I going to keep doing this until they eventually do? Probably. Um, <laughs> I've been impressed with Reading, don't get me wrong, but maybe if it was at Reading, I would be more inclined. But I'll go with the opposite direction then and go one nil Stockport because um, no way is there going to be any pressure on Challoner who's been there for a few years yeah. and they've only just come up. Uh, but the form isn't great. And he, he knows the, they need a result to turn this around because it's um, yes, yeah, sort of took a sharp turn downwards. So I will go for them one nil, one nil Stockport. Um, and that wraps up the League One midweek predictions, guys. So that is part one of the video. Feel free to share your predictions for those three games down below. On to nine FA Cup games we've selected then, Ben. And we've tried to select some interesting ones. It's not all of the League One teams. As I say, I'm sorry if you're excluded. I do want to give a brief mention to Hensford, who were the last eighth tier team. They take on Gainsborough Trinity from the okay. Civic Division. Um, good luck to them. Um, let's start with Notts County, Ben, versus Alfreton. Um, this one is a bit of a derby because there's only 18 miles between Alfreton and Notts County. Uh, Notts County, huge club, of course, um, always quite fun for goals in League Two. Alfreton, though, sixth in the National League North. I always keep an eye on them because I have got a close friend who lives in Alfreton and I'd love to see them get up to the Football League. It seems like it's got the potential to be an upset, but is it is it just a bit of a stretch, Ben? Um, should I go first for this one? I'm going to say, you know, I'll give Alfreton a goal, but I think Notts County will sneak through. 2-1. Yeah, I was going somewhere similar. Um, I just think Notts County with the muscle memory and the, the way the games come thick and fast in the EFL, I think they'll... Uh, and, you know, when you look at League Two sides playing in the Cup, Matt, it's not like they're going to rotate their 25-man squad and it'll, it'll be in the main, the, the league team, won't it? So... You've taken the 2-1. I'll take the 3-1 um, to Notts County. 3-1 Notts County. Share your thoughts on that one down below, guys. I'm sure there'll be quite a few Alfredson fans making that journey, considering, as I say, it's only about 18 miles. Um, I like the look of this one, Ben. This is also on the Friday night. Tamworth versus Huddersfield. Um, Tamworth only just came up to the National League uh, last Where season, I believe. Like, Matt, is that your way? Yeah, it's not far from Birmingham. Um, yeah, okay. So it's sort of north east of Birmingham, I suppose okay. you'd say. Tamworth fans, smarten us up if I'm slightly <laughs> off with that. But it's not it's not too hey, far. I know it's in, it's in the Midlands. Um, so, yeah, Tamworth just come up to the National League. They're currently 16th. They're not doing too badly. I suppose the dream draw would have been Birmingham at home. Um, but this is nearly as good. You know, Huddersfield Town, of course, big club that came down from the Championship last season. Huddersfield's form does appear to have improved recently in League One. Um once again, is it a stretch? I sometimes think, though, Ben, when these non-league teams have the home advantage, they can try and make it a bit more difficult. What are you thinking? You can go first here, Ben. I'm thinking that Mike Duff doesn't yet have enough credit in the bank with the Huddersfield fans to mess about with this in the slightest. So I think I think they'll be out of sight 
by the end of the first half. So I'm going to go comfortably here. Uh, Tamworth nil, Huddersfield three. Okay, yeah, and we're thinking similar because I've gone Tamworth one, Huddersfield three. Okay, um, I'll give them a goal. I want to see some limbs for the Tamworth <laughs> fans. Um, but surely, as you said, Huddersfield Town come here, um, decent form, and like you say, can't mess about. I think the thing is as well when it, when a club's come down from the Championship to League One, um, you just I don't know if you sort of expect yourselves to get back to round three where you have been obviously when you've been in the Championship or Premier League in Huddersfield Town's case in recent years, and yeah, this would be uh, a, a really big upset if Tamworth were to cause. To cause Huddersfield some problems and get the win, but no, we're both going for Huddersfield. Do share your thoughts. I wonder if we'll go for an upset in this one, maybe Ben. Bristol Rovers, um, solid sort of mid-table League One club. They take on Western Supermare, who, yeah, this isn't too far away, 25 miles away. And with Western Supermare, they come here top of the National League South. They are a team flying. I know the difference in you know opponent will be quite evident here, but I don't know if they've got that winning feeling. Could they come here and maybe sneak an upset? Um, I'm surprised this one's not been selected for TV coverage, I must say. I think this is a, a 3 pm -er. Um Oh, do you know what? I think I think what Western Superman will do is they'll try and keep this tight. Maybe the quality of Bristol Rovers could just sneak it. I'm just going to avoid an upset here and go 1-0 Bristol Rovers, Ben. But what are you thinking? Um... So the replays are gone. Do they go straight to penalties at ninety, or is there is there extra time? I don't know if anyone can smart this up in the in the comments on that one. Do you know, Matt? I think it'd be extra time. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for some extra time then, um, and let's go. Do, 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 do. I still think Bristol Rovers. Should we give um, Should we give Western Supermare the lead, maybe once or twice? Um, <laughs> it would be a bonus point, but we're not playing for points. Let's go Bristol Rovers three. Western Supermare 2. Oh, sounds like a classic, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it could be a really good game. Like I say, Western Supermare coming here top of the National League South does make this one interesting. Um, another one that could be interesting because of league positionings, Ben, is Northampton Town versus Kettering. And this is once again quite a local game, uh, I believe 18 miles away. Um, Kettering is really not that far away from Northampton. And they are top of the Southern Central League, which is in the seventh tier of English football. So this is four divisions apart. This is a stretch now, but surely the Kettering fans will fill that away end at six fields. Um, you're up first here, Ben. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I cannot predict Northampton to lose two games in the same prediction show because I predicted them to go under, um, go under against Lincoln. So... You're right. It is a stretch. It is a long, long way um, in between in the pyramid. Um, 5.30 kickoff. So um, someone might be making some money from TV by the look of it, which is great for both clubs, of course. But no, let's back Northampton. Let's let's have a tight one, though. Um, Northampton one, Kettering nil. Ooh. Do you know what, Ben? It's time we had an upset. Northampton one, Kettering two. They're going to do it. That away end is going to go absolutely crazy at six fields. Um, why not? I think in these cup games, I know, look, there's three, four divisions between some of these teams. But if you're top of your league, I remember when Coventry lost to Wrexham a couple of years ago, they were top of the National League and we were three divisions above them. But I don't know, when you've got that winning momentum, they're really hard to stop. And they gave Sheffield United a really good game in that same cup run. So, um yeah, I'm going to go for Kettering. Good luck to them. 2-1. And as you say, even if they don't get through, hopefully they've made a bit of money from this cup run and uh, a bit of TV coverage as well. Um, ben, just a quiet affair. MK Dons versus AFC Wimbledon up next. <laughs> um, no, I, I think this is a really tasty one. It's, it's a good derby. Of course, they both play in the same league already. So they're both in League 2. Uh, not a lot between them, actually. MK Dons 8th, Wimbledon 12th. Um, do you know what? I'll jump on Wimbledon for this one. Let's go for some more limbs in the away end. AFC Wimbledon are going to snatch this 2-1, Ben. That is a good end for um, away limbs at MK, I have to say. But I, I have seen that full um, a few times and, and bouncing. Unfortunately, the rest of the stadium is not often full there at um, uh, Stadium MK. Uh, Wimbledon do normally do pretty well in this game when it's at Wimbledon, don't they? So, um, 
I think I might go with MK. I'm being really boring here. I will throw an upset in. Um, although, no, come on, they're same division, aren't they? So it doesn't really cut. An upset to me has to be a team from a different division um, beating them. So it doesn't really count. So I will back MK. Um, they're not the most goal laden. Let's go MK2 Wimbledon nil. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going in opposite directions. It is, like I say, a feisty one. I'm sure the Wimbledon fans will be really up for that. Will the MK fans as well be? Yeah, they might be. Share your thoughts on that one. Um, next up, Ben, I'm going to go to Sutton versus Birmingham City. Um, now, Sutton's finest hour in the FA Cup actually came oh, against yes. my team. In 1989, they beat Coventry City, who had actually won the FA Cup two years previously. Um this to me, Ben, I, I know it's got the potential of an upset, I suppose, you know, National League, two divisions between them. I don't know, Sutton are performing mid-table, they're 12th in the National League. If Birmingham rotate, could Sutton cause them problems? Maybe. The TV cameras will be there. But this, I don't know, this to me, Ben, looks like the cameras have turned up at the gym and Birmingham City are going to want to flex their muscles. <laughs> You're up first for this one, Ben, what are you saying? We don't get many of these. But I am going to use the number six in this one, Matt. Should we give Sutton a goal, though? I think, yeah, Birmingham are going to flex big style. I know fans of this show get annoyed with us constantly predicting Birmingham to win. But it is what it is this season. Sutton won. Birmingham, get ready for it. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ben. Oh, goodness me. Uh, do you know flip, what? Clip that one out now. when Sutton win, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? It might happen, though, Ben. It really might because, like I say, Birmingham City are putting some of the League One teams to the sword. This is, you know, Sutton, who are mid-table in the National League, not exactly flying. If Birmingham goes strong, this could be really, really difficult. I mean, let's um, – difficult for Sutton, by the way. Uh, but let's give um, Sutton credit. They, I think they got to – was it the quarterfinals of the FA Cup a few years ago? They, they lost to Arsenal in the end. Um, but they had the keeper on the touchline eating the pie or something, didn't yeah. they? Um, I'm going to go Sutton nil, Birmingham three. Uh, I won't go as crazy, but I agree with the narrative that Birmingham City should should roll through here. Um, OK, Ben, I think we can call this another sort of derby. We've got a London derby. Boreham Wood versus Leighton Orient. Uh, Boreham Wood. They're down in National League South now. They are 11th in the National League South. Um, Leighton Orient, uh, of course, in League One. Um, not having the best season, though, of course. I don't know. Could, could there be an upset in this one? Um, I've already had one. I'm not sure if I want to do another one just yet. Um, I'm up first here. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I think Leighton Orient could do it, but like not very convincing, if you know what I mean. Um, let's go Bournemouth 1, Leighton Orient 2. Right, so I used to live in London Colney and um, used to often go across the M25 to Bournemouth uh, to um, use the bank and there was a little outlet shopping thing, whatnot. And I often uh, work with a band called the Fabulous Lounge Swingers and um, Scott and Pat, the two lead guys, live in Bournemouth. So I feel... Mm. I have a big link to Boreham Wood here. Um, and I know they're very good in the FA Cup. So with full apologies to Leighton Orient fans, let's go for the cup set here. And let's go Boreham Wood 1, Leighton Orient 0. Um, but we'll give Leighton Orient 23 shots without scoring. <laughs> <laughs> It's the way it's got to be sometimes, but exactly. I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, we were just saying off camera, um, Bournemouth would have that good FA Cup run a couple of years ago. I believe they beat Bournemouth and then they eventually lost to Everton. So, you know, really incredible from a National League team. Of course, they're National League South now, which would make this even more impressive. Um, so I love that from you, Ben. Um, next up, Curzon Ashton take on Mansfield. Um, this is an interesting one. So Mansfield obviously flying in League One. Um, they got a draw against Birmingham last time in League One, so let's give them credit for that because not many teams are taking points off Birmingham. Uh, but speaking of flying, Curzon Ashton are second in the National League North, so they are doing really well in their respective division. Um, you're up first here, Ben. Um, if you heard me tapping away, that was Googling Curzon Ashton, which apparently is in Greater Manchester, which I did not know. 
and I apologise for the for the disrespect. Um, <laughs> I'm loving Mansfield this season, so I can't I can't back against um, Mansfield. I'm afraid they're quite good fun though and quite goal happy. So let's go both teams to score and a real bit of fun cup action. Do you know what? Let's throw in a Lee Gregory hat trick as well. Curzon two, Mansfield four. I'm having fun with this now. Wow. And that's similar to me, Ben, because I've gone Curzon Ashton one, Mansfield four. There you go. Um, yeah, we both think Mansfield will hit four. Um, yeah, and I suppose that's our way of an apology for not backing them to get anything against Birmingham last week, which they did go on to what do. Result? Um, but yeah, I mean, they, I think the Mansfield fans can understand why we keep backing Birmingham to get results. But um, no, we're heavy on Mansfield this week. Would love to see them get to the third round of the FA Cup, by the way. Um, you know, we've we've enjoyed watching a few of the League One teams this season, so it'd be good to see them take on a championship team or two in the third round. And we both think they'll get past Curzon Ashton here. Um, this one's on TV, Ben. Harrogate versus Wrexham. Um, Harrogate 17th in League Two. Um, Wrexham, of course, flying in League One. I believe they're not in the top two anymore because Wickham have jumped up there, haven't they? Wow. Um, I don't know. I mean, the FA Cup is a massive opportunity for Wrexham to really put some firework displays on, isn't it? I think they're really going to want to go for another cup run. Um, and I think this this suits them quite nicely. I will go with a professional Wrexham job. Harrogate probably focusing on trying to stay up in League Two this season. I'm going to back Wrexham 2-0. I'm going to do something silly here, Matt, because I've got the head-to-head -head up, which has given me a reason to call the cup set here. Um, in League Two, Wrexham 0, Harrogate 0. Harrogate 2, Wrexham 2. Wrexham did not beat Harrogate in League 2. The previous game before that was in the FA Cup and was 1-2-1 by Harrogate, which is a very lovely place. I went there recently to play a show. So I'm going to go for a repeat <laughs> of that, which is absolutely ridiculous. And Have you, have you ever had the bottled Harrogate still water, which is very nice to get that when you're on the road in the services or whatever, don't you? <laughs> Any reason now, um, I'm going to annoy all the Wrexham fans. What did you go for? Did you go 2-1 Wrexham? 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Nil. Two nil. I'll take the 2-1 Harrogate just for um, the pure audacity of it, hey? Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, we will see, guys. I mean, like I say, Wrexham, I think they like to put a firework display on. But maybe it could work the other way that, you know, Harrogate taking them on might think to themselves... Let's stop them. You know, let's show them who's boss. So, I don't know. Um, share your thoughts on that one. Uh, the final one we're going to predict is Chesham versus Lincoln City. I believe this is the Monday night one. So, it's probably the one just after they'll have done the second round draw. Um, Chesham, 10th in the National League South. Uh, and Lincoln City, uh, we've already predicted them to win in this video in the League One Tuesday predictions. Um, who's up first? You're up first here, Ben. So, let's see what you have to say. Oh, I think I've had enough cup sets now, haven't I? But um, again, it will be um, fantastic, although they are actually up against um, some Premier League Monday night football. So we hope they still get a... I mean, they still make the same amount of money, but we hope they get plenty of viewers if they're on the box on um, Monday night. Uh, they are 45 minutes before Fulham and Brentford. Um, but this is all procrastinating, prevaricating from me predicting a comfortable Lincoln City win. I'm I'm big on Lincoln in this prediction. It's a Lincoln double for me. Uh, Chesham, I'm not going to give him a goal either. Chesham nil, Lincoln three. Yeah, seems possible. Three divisions between the sides. Knowing that I think you've gone for two upsets today. <laughs> Go I on, will, Matt. I will match you up. Um, Chesham two, Lincoln one. Um which is completely going against all of my logic, which is that I usually think Lincoln are good defensively, but Matt, maybe... Just, on... Can I just ask you a quick question? <clears throat> Do you think there are teams at the top of League One that would be saying, Do you know what? We don't, we don't particularly need these potential couple of fixtures. We're possibly in a promotion race, you know, we possibly don't need the money, certainly for two of the teams up the top there. Do you think any of them would be like, <laughs> Treat it like people treat the EFL Cup and it's just like, a, whatever, if we win, we win, but don't really care. I think so. I think maybe if they're like a an outsider or a playoff team, um, I could see Birmingham having the quality and squad to do both. Yeah. Uh, Re Wrexham are going to want to put their names out there in the FA Cup as well. Uh, but maybe your Lincoln Cities and your Wickham Wanderers 
just head down. Let's go for yeah, League yeah. One promotion or League One playoffs. Um, so yeah, you've you've given me another reason for why Cheshire might win. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a bobbly pitch. Lincoln City are not going to be up for it. Two one to Cheshire, um, and that wraps up our predictions for this week, um, guys. Like I say, there are I think forty fixtures. Um, for the FA Cup first round predictions. So we couldn't do all of them, but please be sure to share your own predictions down in the comments. Um, we will be back probably predicting the second round next uh, month because that'll probably get in the way of another set of League One predictions. But yeah, share your predictions for the League One and FA Cup games down below. And um, thank you as always for joining me, Ben. Um, make sure to check Ben's channel out, guys. What can they find over there, Ben? Oh, loads and loads of content. And what I want to find, Matt, in the comments on this very, very video, I want, I want someone to call a cup set and get it right. And Matt will promise to pin that right to the top of the comments if you do if you do get that one right. But loads of stuff going on. And obviously the thing that you should check out on my channel, which we're about to record, if I peel the curtain back a little bit, is the Premier League check-in with the excellent Matt SP. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Um, guys, please make sure you've hit the like button, you've subscribed over here, and you've subscribed to Benjamin Bloom. The first link in the description, get over there and check his channel out where, like I say, you can see our Premier League stuff. Ben does great championship videos as well, so get involved with all of that. Otherwise, we'll be back with League One predictions next week. Um, good luck to your teams in the FA Cup. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace out.